I think the first thing is getting better at noticing when you might need help. And, and part of that is just thinking about for you what shows that you're really not coping. And we all don't cope at certain times and sometimes it might mean that we're getting crankier or losing our temper. It might mean that we're feeling quite sad or withdrawn. It might mean that we're just really not functioning. We can't get out of bed or we can't kind of engage in the way that we would like to. There's lots of ways to reach out for help. And it might be that more informal, so actually letting a friend or another family member or a trusted adult know there might be a coach or a music teacher or somebody that you feel a strong relationship with and you can ask them if they can help you get some more assistance or someone to talk to or they might just be able to have a chat with you about what's going on. Within the school system there's always supports there whether it be again the formal supports of the school counsellor or year co those sorts of things but there's also just a teacher that you like. You can say to them I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed or I'm just feeling a bit down could you help me maybe think about what I might be able to do and they'll always want to uh, try and help you in that and then there's a whole range of free services where you can engage so headspace.org.au you can log on create an account online there's self-help information there's one-on-one -on -one support if you wanted with a counsellor or psychologist those sorts of talking therapies but there's also a whole range of peer chats that happen really regularly where young people talk to young people and that's a much less formal and sometimes a good entry point for young people to just have a yarn about what's going on. It doesn't have to be a young carer's chat or you're, you know you have a family member with an illness chat. It could be you've got a lot going on or you're struggling with work and study and that's sometimes a good way to listening into other people have a conversation about what helps them or what they do when they're feeling a bit down or overwhelmed so there's lots of steps that young people can take rather than just thinking oh the only alternative is they're going to make me go to therapy for years on end that's not necessarily the only way you can get help